Once upon a time, bad bitch Eva Villain lived in a city. Today, I wanted to share one of my favorite things to snack on. It's chickpeas, and it's just very simple. I came across an article yesterday. Uh, it, was, uh, it was the Mayo Clinic's recommendations in regards to what you can do to help uh, with uh, dementia in your, with dementia. So what I'm going to do, and what the Mayo Clinic recommends is beans and legumes, is that how you pronounce the word? Or chickpeas, and this is twice a week. So what I'm going to do is just simply drain this can of chickpeas, drain and rinse them, and I'll be right back. I've rinsed and drained my canned chickpeas. I transferred it into this pretty cup. You could eat it out of anything, but I, I like the aesthetic. So I have it in this cup and I work today. So I'm gonna have this at my work desk and this is what I'll be snacking on all day. Don't forget, this is what the Mayo Clinic recommends in regards to you know, in, in, in regards to one of the ways you can uh, prevent dementia. So, this stuff is so good. And the, the, the great thing about it is you don't need to, you don't need to stress over or even take 10 minutes to get something healthy in your day. Get a can of chickpeas, drain and rinse it, put it in a, in a, a serving. This took three minutes at the most. I had to open the can, I had to rinse it, drain it and rinse it and transfer it into a serving container. And that was it. That's how simple it was to get something healthy into my day nutrition wise. Don't forget, um, I did get this tip from an article uh, that was put out by the Mayo Clinic. And it's really an article uh, in regards to what types of food are, uh, are very helpful in regards to dementia, uh, preventing dementia. Remember, the Mayo Clinic recommends eating beans and legumes twice a week. But if you don't want to do beans and legumes, your, another option is chickpeas twice a week in regards to preventative uh, dementia prevention. Twice a week, three minutes. Once again, <laughs> pop open a can of chickpeas, drain it, rinse, put it in a container, eat. This is so good, so good. This isn't new, chickpeas are my favorite things to snack on. Um, I do prefer canned though. Um, I, I did try to get into legumes, I think like I, I, I over, over winter or fall, I made myself um, lentil lentil soup, but I didn't have a good, I did not have a good experience with that because I was shocked. I, I had about I was shocked with how much gas I had. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just being honest. Okay, and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I'm not definitely a bean or legume person, but. Dang, I'm definitely a chickpea girl. And oh my God, I don't know, is milk good for you? But I love milk. I love milk, whole milk. I mean, it's just, it's so good. Milk is so good. I love milk. I love milk and orange juice. I just love tomato juice. Those are like my favorite types of drink. And I, I very, very seldom drink soda. Uh, I do, I'll, I'll give into like a craving for it uh, once every two months. 
but mainly I love orange tomato juice and milk. What I'm wearing is this very deep, deep hunter green asymmetric cut top. It's a, it's kind of like it's a sweater top. And this is an old top. I got this a couple of years ago or last year from, I think it was Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Of course, I'm wearing it paired with my favorite Levi's low pros in that gray or faded black denim or gray denim. I'm wearing my favorite Bottega dupe earrings from Amazon. And that's it. I'm just pretty simple day. And that's it. Just a very simple outfit. Nothing new. This is a purchase from last year. This is a purchase months and months ago. Purchase months. My face is oily. I have castor oil all over my face because I did do my gua sha routine and my face, the facial oil that I did use was castor oil. So I work from home, so I'm just going to leave this castor oil on my face the whole day. And like I said, I did do my gua sha routine this morning. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next vlog.